with us now, the fellow who's le trying to, to handle this refugee process. As Alex was saying, when you're talking about close to one and a half million individuals, that is a Herculean administrative task, to put it mildly. Uh, Vinod Pillai joins us right now, works with an organization called SEWA, uh, and they, again, shepherd this refugee process along. Uh, Vinod, um, I don't envy the challenge uh, you, you're under here. Uh, how's it going? Uh, good morning, Neil. Uh, we are from SEWA International Europe, and we are supporting disaster and relief management, relief uh, recovery efforts over 26 countries in Europe and Eurasia. We are being helping to evacuate the students and other people from all nationalities from Ukraine. So to date, we have received approximately 10,000 requests, and we helped approximately 32,000 plus uh, people to evacuate in the crisis from the crisis zone to the nearby port, nearby borders in Poland, Hungary, Romania, and Slovakia. So we have some ground volunteers in Ukraine as well as we also have our volunteers standing at the borders to help the people coming through the borders and helping them with our humanitarian, I mean, with our, with our resources to support them to have a better life and then to have some kind of peace in their mind. Bernard, we're just learning, of course, today that the temporary ceasefire for humanitarian aid to get in and those Ukrainians you're helping get out uh, just fell through. The Ukrainians say that Russians uh, were attacking those positions and that those routes have been shut down. Is that true? And how does this complicate what you're trying to do? Yeah, this is always, I mean, this is a conflict zone. So, I mean, any kind of conflicts need to be discussed and through a diplomatic means, and this need to be resolved. A kind of an attack, a kind of uh, war is not a solution which is only creating problem for the humanity. So what we would like to have is the conflict need to be resolved through diplomatic dialogues and the peace should prevail. All right. Um, please keep us posted on this, Vinod. But uh, it's very difficult work what you're doing. But for those one and a half billion people and more to come, uh, you are a, a, a savior for them. Um, so God speak to you. Uh, as we wrap up here, go to, to, to a quick break here. I want to make you aware that a Russian plane is coming to the United States. So I know your first reaction would be, didn't we close down the airspace to prevent that from happening? Uh, this is a plane from President Putin's fleet uh, en route here to pick up diplomats who were expelled. We are monitoring extremely closely. We don't know how many are going to board that plane, um, but it is just an exception to allow for these diplomats kicked out to get out. We'll keep you posted.